All right, welcome to this class, and we are going to be continuing from where we stopped. In this class, I will show you how you can blend images with your background, and here you can actually blend backgrounds with backgrounds. Someone asked how I create all this kind of effects with my flyer design. So let me open Photoshop. The truth is, what I'm doing now is you can also achieve it with your Corel Draw. So just that the tools are different. Let me use Photoshop. The processes are the same. All right. So let me create your as my document. I'm using six inches by six inches. Alright, my document is created. What I will do, I will bring in my, my backgrounds. For instance, I want to blend. Um, let me see, I want to make. Let me see which of these backgrounds will I use. Okay. Let me use this background. Drag it into Photoshop. Now, if you remember one of the videos I've taught, I told you I don't use backgrounds the way I download them from the internet. That's one. One thing I do. So if you are looking for the background I use in my designs, you might not find them on the internet because I don't use backgrounds the way I download them from the internet. So this background, let's add a blur effect to it. Come to filter, go to blur. Let's see, vision blur. Okay. So. For instance, now I'm designing, I'm actually trying to make a background for a concert. Okay, so you can either decide to drag or whatever you want. So, to blend these two backgrounds, now I'll take my eraser, my eraser tool, and clean this one. Click on it, click OK. Let me increase my eraser by holding down my right that's my left parenthesis you use your parenthesis key to either increase or reduce the left to reduce the right to increase then i'll have to wipe out clean to make these two backgrounds become one you can see that they are flowing into each other so i can decide to change the color of the one on top by using my blend modes come to where you have your blend modes on your panel so we can start changing the modes then see the one that fits what we are looking for so you can see the different modes wow i think i love this this exclusion i think i love this because it's giving me a definite flow so you can see this is how we blend backgrounds Wow, this is cool. This is cool to this hard light. It's cool. Okay, that's cool. So you can change your modes like this for you to have what you're looking for. You can see each of these modes giving us different effects. Different effects. All right. Alright, let's stick with this. Or should we go with this? Okay. So you have a blend of these two backgrounds like this. Now, for instance, I want to blend a picture with this background. Let's say um let's bring in a picture. Of someone who is uh, let's say worshiping. I think I have my images here. If 
for instance this guy this guy who is praying so bring in this guy's picture then we can also blend now what i will do i'm going to wipe some of this background click on my eraser tool and also wipe to make it flow into the background wipe off some of this okay so all i have to do is change my blend modes of this image I mostly use a you can decide to use overlay or hard light okay whichever one you want to use to make it look like it's part of the design so you can see if you remove it you are still seeing it so this is what i normally do most times when i am working with backgrounds if you want to blur that background okay this is what i normally do most times when i work with backgrounds and images to give you that effect so this was what one of you asked for so you can see this is how i achieved that because somebody was asking how i actually achieved the particular flyer somebody asked me how i achieved this flyer that's the images and the background now if you look at this you have lines I actually drew these lines and I made the lines overlay, give an overlay effect to these lines. These are just lines. I have to duplicate them on the design. So that was what I actually did. So to achieve that, you can draw your lines and just change the color of your lines to white and overlay. So if you want us to try that, let's try it. Let's take our line. If you don't want to use line, you can also use your, your rectangle tool to draw to do that. So I will change my rectangle to color to white. Is white. So what I'm doing is I'll take overlay. You can see. So you have to duplicate this duplicate ctrl j and continue doing that until it fills your, your your space then you can reduce the opacity you get so that was what i did just duplicate the lines on this background so that will be that for this class i'm going over to the next class see you in the next video thank you